Wow. That's all I can say. Each time I talk about this Judge West story, you know, it's it's overwhelming. It's so inspirational. It's motivational. Uh, Judge West, World Footballer of the Year, 1995. Uh, this guy has been the Chelsea, AC Milan, PSG. Paris Saint Germain. You know, and has been has been a driving force for uh, football in West Africa for a period of, of, of time. And now they can look up to him and, and say, this guy took it a step forward. And look at what they're saying in Liberia, that this is a man that was successful with football. He can't be successful again with leadership. I, I think he's, he's always been, he's uh, somebody, if you say somebody is born to rule, hmm. uh, on the field of play, he has shown that leadership quality. Outside the field of play, especially when it comes to the first of football, he has his uh, influence. Um, I mean, that Liberian team, you can't say that Liberian team was an exceptional team. But they had an exceptional player in George wow. And when things were very difficult for the country, he was the one that was really standing up, taking care of everything, picking the bills, making sure that they played. And I keep repeating, they were the verge of qualifying for the World Cup. Hmm. It has to take our uh, stopping them in, in uh, Portacourt. Yes, yeah. that was where that game was played. In Portacourt, we had to do everything in the books, outside of the <laughs> books, to make sure... That and that time, time, he was everything. Was, One he man was, riot. He was the coach, he was the technical advisor, he was the captain, he was... He was uh, everything. Yeah, he was everything. He carried he was, the entire he team. He was having running battles with everybody. It's why we saw the Elisa, if you recall, on wow. that day, he was... It was because he, he I, I'm sure that it meant so much to him if Liberia had gone to the World Cup at that point. Yeah. But uh, from that point on, he, he just didn't stop because he has that sphere of influence. Yeah. Because he has that, the ability you know, for people to listen to him. Mm. And, you know, that creates he's that... He's a leader. Change. Yes, he's a born leader, a change agent, and he just took it a step further. I think in politics, uh, because of... Um, what football brings, you know, football is uh, what is no language, no barrier, no. nothing. I, I'm sure that he will attract a lot of good let's news see, to Liberia. Let's see, let's see the language that he's going to use uh, in terms of ruling the people of Liberia. But information that you can use, George upon where has been declared winner of the Liberia presidential elections. Yes, we talked about it here about three days ago, and we're waiting. The supporter said by Saturday that they, they know that they are so sure, 100 <laughs> percent sure. They said no anki panky, nothing can be. Done, that this man is going to be our next president. And that's a story that you can take, that dreams come through. Impossible is nothing. Yes, yes, Chujwe has been declared a winner of the Liberia presidential election. Let's get on with the show now. Come back, come back home. I told you it's all about grassroots football development. The Sheyi Akiwumi Charity Cup Mini Tournament, uh, fourth edition, was concluded today in Lagos. And what is it all about? That competition, they try uh, to bring kids together, empower them, uh, discover talent. See, young talents right there, Alfred, are uh, so, so touching. It uh, reminds me big time of the channel's uh, International Kids Cup. And that's Sheyi Akiwumi right there. V First Vice President of the Nigerian Football Federation, Chairman Lagos State Football Association, but the role that I adore this man more, Alfred, is in being the chairman of NFF Youth Development Committee, and he's putting everything he has into it. Uh, people who want to look at the top and say, this is what we've been able to do with our football. But the real work uh, is not at the top, it's at this level, at the under 13, under 11, mm. under 15. That is where the real work comes through. That is where you shape this. And for sure, I came with me to, to have put this together. I was there, and I, I mean, it gives great joy, hope. He's not the only FA chairman that we have around, yeah. but he's been able to make impact with this, with this event. It's an annual event in the fourth edition. That's fourth right. edition. Yeah. And fourth and already? Fourth edition. Wow. So next year, we'll be talking about the, the fifth, fifth edition. edition. I, I mean, hmm. what a competition like this will do in the lives of these young kids. I played in the Sheyi Akumi, and if you look, and then from the, there I was well, discovered. I, I went into Lagos State under 13 program. NFF liked it from and the, said, "Come to under 15." And then suddenly I found myself in under 17, and today I'm a super Eagles player. Success, so, uh, success story. Plan. That that's mm. the success story. We have to create more youth programs, programs to accommodate these kids. It's not enough to leave them to get. Most times we just happen to just chance on a player or the rest of it. We, there must be a deliberate program that's right. to discover talents, to yeah. nurture them, yeah. put them in a structured environment. Mm. But that's his key. Ensure that they have good education because we've seen that's the, the, the Eboe story. The oh Eboe story goodness. resonates everywhere. Yeah. It, it, if you, without education, it becomes extra difficult for you to really make it out there. It's, it's a jungle out there. Yeah. And so for these uh, young kids, I'm sure they'll be very, very happy. 
are going through this program. That's right, and they played some good football for us to see. Sports tonight on Channels Television. Let's go on this first break. When we come back, more on the Sheyi Akiwumi Charity Cup. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay.